So you might be trying to figure out how you can basically remove this app time limit on your iPhone. Now, this is a very basic thing to do, but it really just depends on whether you're the owner of the iPhone or whether like your parents went and like blocked this on your iPhone from the first part. Now, if it's the latter, let's say it's your iPhone, it's a very, very basic thing to do. For one, you can actually do a quick ignore limit option if you want to. So you can just click on ignore limit and that will basically ignore the limit of that app time limit on your particular iPhone. So it's not going to ban the whole entire time limit thing on, you know, system wide, but just for that one particular application, clicking on ignore limit will actually end up kind of doing it for you there, which is a pretty cool thing. Now, let's say you, you don't want to do that. You want to remove it system wide. We'll make your way over to your settings application and you'll come into this panel. What you want to do here is you want to basically scroll down until you see screen time. Now this screen time option is essentially where your specific, you know, screen, everything is basically going to be. So what you're going to want to do is you want to basically scroll down until you see this little option that says one, either turn off app and website activity or just turn off screen time in general. Now there may be a thing that says, you know, app limits here. So you can go ahead and come into app limits and you can remove any of these limits that are available here either. So if there's a particular limit that you don't like, as long as you know the screen time passcode, that is pretty much what you're going to want to do. Now within this panel, you can also edit your content and privacy restrictions. So you can come right in here and you can edit up these restrictions that are right within this panel. And you can also turn off your apps and website you know, activity if you want to by clicking turn off here. That's another option that you have. So all those things can be edited right here. Now on top of that, if for some reason that's not what you want to do or if it's not working for you or whatever the case is, another thing you may want to try doing is trying to see if there's an update available for your iPhone. Recently on my iPhone 15s, I've been having this weird issue where turning it off doesn't actually turn it off. So you can try seeing if there's an update available for your iPhone, because if there is, then that will probably end up fixing the problem for you too, if for some reason you're not able to remove that app limit. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button now me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.